hello everyone welcome to another video today we are going to talk about something really interesting we're gonna talk about interesting facts about spain uh, before we get started don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time i upload a new video also visit smlessons.com for more free spanish lessons give this video a like that helps this channel a lot and I want to give a big shout out to Kay Beck thank you so much uh, for <laughs> having a membership on this channel thank you for being a cafecito member uh, delicious coffee thank you Kay Beck big shout out uh, and here with me just one sec here with me is the mysterious voice uh, and before you say anything else if you want to get a membership on this channel to support this channel a lot you can do so just by clicking on the join button down below okay now you should do it yeah <laughs> well there if you can I mean we're not gonna yeah work. there are different memberships like there are three different memberships one is cafecito the other one is cerveza and the other one is um, tequila. Yeah. So it depends on how generous uh, they feel, you know. Yeah, but it's it's all appreciated, honestly. <laughs> oh, of like, course, it's of su course. Super cool of you guys. Yeah, I love coffee. So even if you get the cafecito member only, that is the cafecito membership only. That is like more than enough for yeah. me yeah every little bit helps yeah. towards making this better and giving you guys uh more content and better exactly. content and yeah. yeah and um there are different perks when getting a membership yeah, so which you guys can check out i mean mm -hmm. yeah exactly we're not we're not here to sell yeah. memberships we're here to talk about fun stuff fun stuff yeah and before we get started i just want to apologize in advance if i do yawn because i probably will because <laughs> it's late Please and don't. i've worked a lot and i'm tired don't so do that. come on <laughs> it it's gonna be a, a short-ish video only 30 I'll minutes do my best yeah so um yeah but it's gonna be something fun okay so you're gonna hear things that you probably didn't hear before okay so you should you should just stay stay awake <laughs> okay so we're talking about interesting facts about spain so do you know anything about spain i know that the rain in spain falls mostly in the plains the what sorry it's a palindrome oh okay i've never heard i know bullfighting sucks yeah yeah um you know that spain is in europe right yes and um, a lot of people who learn Spanish, they want to learn the Spanish from Spain. You mm -hmm. know, they want to have that accent. And um, it's a challenging accent because some pronunciation is different. Mm -hmm. um, some people think that they sound like they have a lisp. They do. A lot of, if you tell that to people, to Spaniards, they might get angry because they consider well, a lisp as a, a some speech impediment yeah, is that the term yeah well yeah but i'm sorry people from spain who are watching this just because you're angry about it doesn't mean you're right <laughs> well be careful because they're very <laughs> passionate when <laughs> they, when it comes to commenting on videos the, the thing is <laughs> there's nothing wrong about it you know, it's not a bad thing if it sounds like a lisp. Who cares? It's that's you know that's what makes their language and that version of the language unique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it would be like if somebody tells you, you know, oh, you have a accent from Texas. That's you know, like there's nothing wrong with that. You mm -hmm. just have an accent from a different place. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man, you gotta own own that. When I was. When I was younger, when I was a kid, and I heard a Spaniard speaking, you know, talking, 
I never thought that was uh, a, some speech impediment. I never thought it was a problem. No. I just thought, oh, well, that's that's different. Yeah, it's that's the, different. It's I, the same language but different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like somebody speaking English in North America versus Britain. You know, like exactly. whatever random part of England or Scotland or Ireland or like Jamaica. Exactly. And you know. as as you as you know, everybody. Well, I have a video about this, but I'm from Mexico, uh, so when I do videos, when I teach. Spanish to people, I try to have no accent. Like my Spanish, I try to have no accent at all. To keep it because, neutral. Yeah, keep it neutral because that way, when you learn Spanish or, you know, when you watch my lessons and learn that kind of Spanish, you are going to be understood everywhere in Spain, in Mexico, yeah. in anywhere in Latin America. So I try to just keep it like, you mm -hmm. know, neutral, like you said. But anyways, we're here to talk about facts, okay? Yes. The first fact that I came across, and I think it's very interesting, mm -hmm. is um, that in, in Spain, there are many different languages, official languages. So it's not only Spanish, mm -hmm. but it's uh, like, a bunch of different ones. Which ones? Um, they speak Catalan. I don't know if you've heard of that. Uh, yeah. They speak Basque. I think mm -hmm. that's the pronunciation, the correct pronunciation. And Galician. Mm -hmm. hmm. um, I've heard of those. I don't know what the difference between any of them is. I don't know what they sound like, but I have heard of them. Yeah. So, and... Castilian is yeah, the, this kind of Spanish. Spanish that's known everywhere. Yeah, yeah, but mainly in Spain, you know, the, because you know the, the, in, the in history. One. What's that? It's a de lispy one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You get you can apologize <laughs> <laughs> because I, mean, I can tell that we're gonna get a lot of comments. I'm if, I'm just kidding. It sounds fine. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Like, Every country has their own accent, you know, and if you're not used to hearing that, to yeah. listening to that accent, you might, you know, you, you're just, you can think that it, it sounds funny or it sounds yeah. interesting or so, on, you know? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, they speak not only Castilian, but they speak Catalan, Basque, and Galician. Basque sounds like that uh, the Star, Star Wars, Wars yeah. <laughs> Star Wars character. <laughs> the lizard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love playing Star Wars, by the way. <laughs> not not sponsored, but <laughs> yeah, I really like playing Star Wars. Anyways, and they have other unofficial languages. Mm -hmm. And that's Asturian, Aragonese, and Aranus. And they have several more dialects. It'd be cool to like hear what the difference between all of them is, because yeah. like Europe's not very big compared, you know. Mm. But it's cool that like a country the size of Spain has so many different. Yeah. Well, it's it's quite a. I would say it's a big country it's, in uh, Europe, yeah, but like, right? Compared to like North America, it, well, you know, like uh, yeah, I mean, one of the states or the Canadian provinces or even like a province in Mexico, it's like tiny. Yeah. You know, that that's yeah. what I mean. Like for something comparatively, because like if you look at, for an example, Canada, you have like two accents. You know, you have Newfoundland and the rest of Canada. Plus you have <laughs> French and yeah, but, English. Yeah. But I'm Those talking, are the official languages. Right? Yeah, but like y y French, you have Quebec French, and that's it, you know. And as far which as which is different from the Parisian the French, French from yeah, France, whereas, right? Yeah, and then you have you know Newfoundland mm -hmm. accent. I love that accent. And <laughs> then you have the rest of Canada, which yeah. all sounds the same. And in America as well, like so many different accents. Yeah, like yeah, the every accent state from has New York. their own. Yeah, New York. 
Boston, Texas. Louisiana, mm -hmm. Texas. Yeah, like yeah. every state pretty much. But that's more like accents, not languages, right? Yeah, yeah, it's accents. So that's crazy that a country of that size has basically so one main language versus a country like Spain oh, yeah. that has so oh. many different ones. And it's so, so much smaller yeah. geographically and even just population-wise. It's kind of yeah. cool. Well, Europe is uh, is very cultural, yes. right? Yeah. They have like a lot of um, a lot of uh, people that they're like I don't know. It's just history. It's, it's history cool. is so interesting yeah. when it comes to talking about Europe and yeah, it's, everywhere. it's cool being there. That you can just drive a short distance and literally feel like you're in a different world because the countries are so, so different yeah, from each other. For sure. So that's kind of cool. But anyways. Anyway, so I that's digress. that's one of the interesting facts about Spain. I didn't know that. No, that's really cool. Know, so yeah. that's very interesting. Uh, the next fact is about art. Uh, they have had many... Um, artists or painters mm -hmm. and and a lot of culture that that influenced modern art uh, from the late 1800s mm -hmm. so some like famous artists are um, Anthony Gaudi I don't know if you yeah I've you've heard, heard of him, of, yes. of him. Uh, yeah uh, I believe he was an architecture I mean, an architecture, an architect. <laughs> Art Van de Leyen. Art Van, yeah. A railroad, or was it a railroad architect? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I believe he was an ar architect. He wasn't an importer, exporter? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, he was first importer. Yeah, importer, exporter, yeah. And exporter. Yeah. <laughs> we love Seinfeld here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, he... um. He was part of the Art Nouveau. I don't know Art how to Nouveau. Art Nouveau. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, that's quite interesting. Also, yeah, really cool. Pablo Picasso. He I is always, from Spain or was from yeah, Spain. A crazy thing about Picasso that I always forget. He I was a womanizer. Well, I mean, as, aside from that, <laughs> is that when whenever I hear about him, mm -hmm. I always think just because Picasso because he's like such a big name in mm -hmm, art mm -hmm. i always think like oh yeah he was like way back you know when like da vinci was around but you know no. but it's like no he was alive in like the 60s yeah you know yeah. So it's just i always think that he's like way farther back than he actually is and then no. i think about it and i'm like oh yeah he like hung out with andy warhol <laughs> yeah i mean he's not too old i yeah. mean in, in when it comes to I, art history i think it's just the way that people look at his art and his influence in the yeah. art world makes him seem mm -hmm. so much older than he actually yeah. was and speaking you know? of uh da vinci have you heard of these people from tiktok the two canadian twins i think they oh. are well uh, you know that there is this thing where I don't know how TikTok works too much, uh, but you can like have questions, history questions, just like randomly appearing sure. when filming a TikTok. I think that's, sure. I that's don't know. what happens. But anyways, these two twins or the twins mm -hmm. were doing that. And the question was, who painted the Mona Lisa? Mm -hmm. and, then, and then they saw the answer and they read it in a funny way. Like they they said, uh, Leonardo da da, Vin, da Vinci. Oh, so they said da Vinci. The they, they mispronounced the name, and they became this meme, like super viral meme. It's just hilarious. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, but yeah. So Picasso, right? Yeah, Picasso. Really cool. uh, he was part of express, express, expressionist. expressionism, you know what's cubism. Crazy? And surrealism. Another super crazy thing about Picasso. I saw a week or so ago mm -hmm. online. There, was, they did like a collage of like a collage, but it's like a sequence of his drawings, self portraits mm -hmm. from when he was twenty years old up until he was like older. Okay. And his style, like he he used to his the very first self portrait they showed was like very very realistic. 
Really? And then the last one was like just you know your typical crazy Picasso. It's like wow. it's it's so cool. Like the like, there was like a tra- yeah, there was like a transition over the wow. years in in how he mm-hmm. how he did his art, which is super cool. Yeah, I yeah I like Picasso. Like I think he was uh, probably a very um, like not a good person. <laughs> especially not a good husband and if he got married mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not sure of that but um, I don't know if he got married or anything but yeah I, uh, as an artist he was very good like he, he was one of the big ones anyways also uh, John Miro John Miro I think that's a John Miro it's a uh, um, he painted uh, something like sur- surrealism uh. Um, yeah, so I remember it's like it looks colorful. Mm-hmm. He uses a lot of blue in some lines as well. Like it's a very peculiar uh, I'm sure style. If, if I saw yeah. it, would... yeah. And guess who? Who else? I don't know. Can you name a very famous painter from Spain? We just named like three. One of the super super like so famous I don't know not not Picasso obviously yeah. uh, Salvador Dali oh Dali yeah well the pronunciation in Spanish is Salvador Dali right so mm-hmm. Pablo Picasso then the other ones <laughs> I, I, I don't want to butcher <laughs> the name but yeah Salvador Dali oh, um, cool. he is from Spain so th- they Spain and uh, its artists influenced yeah, a lot like of huge influence. Yeah, yeah, in history. So you see, Spain, there's more to you than just your accent. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now the another interesting fact is flamenco. Do you know what flamenco is? Isn't it? It's well, it's not the bird. It's some. It's like some sort of dancing. Flamingo. If I remember, yeah. I can, I remember we. You w- think it's? A, isn't it like you a think dance it's or a something? Dance? Isn't it something? Or no, well, it's like a lot of the uh-huh. guitar style as yeah. well. That's well, a lot of people think that flamenco is a dance, but it's mm-hmm. actually it's a, a musical music. style. Yeah. Yeah, which you know, it. it you have a, a guitar player. They play the classic guitar, yeah. you know, the like kind of thick neck guitar. Yeah. And um, also they use some, I'm not sure about the name of Castañuelas, I think bells that's the name. And, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure what they're made out, out of. They look like clams. Yeah, I think that it's something like that. Yeah, it's I, probably I plastic. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yeah, yeah. And the dance comes with it, but it's, mm, it's part so of it's it, but it's, the, it's more about it's the, the music. music. Yeah, yeah I exactly. Knew, I kind of knew that. Yeah. So another interesting fact about Spain is that they have something called La Tomatina. Do you know what that is? Mm, it's not a nothing to do with tomato i'm guessing yeah it has to do it does it oh there you go look at that so it's like one big food fight oh yeah i know about yeah yeah, Yeah. so so what they do is that they use around well i found some amount but i don't know probably it's less or more 150,000 tomatoes that are thrown I mean, thrown by people. And apparently, it's like a whole ritual. Mm -hmm. They gather and they don't let anybody, just anybody to do that. They they don't choose, but they allow a certain amount of people to Mm -hmm. do that. I think it's 20,000 people. Uh And they they start shooting uh, water cannons. They they do something else, like somebody has to climb a pole or Mm -hmm. something like that. But sometimes that's difficult. But I was reading that when this starts is when you have water cannons shooting at people. And then they start tro- uh, throwing the, the tomatoes. Well, do you know, like, what's the reasoning behind it? Or what's the history? Well, yeah, they, I was reading about it. And uh, it's unsure. Like, it, there's no facts about or records when that started. Mm-hmm. But 
Some people say that one day they have, they were, you know, like having a fest, not a festival, but they were outside and they started to throw tomatoes at each other. And they, st they started and they liked it and then they repeated that every year. Another is another thing that I read is that it might have been because th they were throwing tomatoes to some politicians that they didn't like. Oh, yeah. And they started like a food fight and they liked it so much that again they just repeated. It became repeated. a thing. It, yeah, it became a thing. But anyways, that's La Tomatina. La Tomatina, okay? And then... I have another one here that is very interesting. The official name of Spain is Kingdom of Spain. Yeah, I knew that. Did you know that? Yes. How do you know that? I don't remember. You read but it? I knew it, yeah. Okay. Now, another fact is that the national anthem of Spain has no words. You know that? That I didn't know. I don't know if they have another one with words, but the national anthem of Spain has no words. So I wonder how they, like, they play it. It's just, just music. And they just listen to it. And, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. Do you, do you, have you heard no, of I've, that? No. At all? No. I think there's other countries there are other countries that have the same situation where there's no lyrics <laughs> that's interesting yeah. right so might be easy just to be there and participate because you, yeah. don't, you don't have to learn any lyrics right you busy mister I'm, I'm double checking some double checking a, a fact <laughs> about spain Actually, okay. I'm just making sure. Another interesting fact is... Have you heard of tortillas? No, I haven't. Ha Let's have you on. guys? Tortillas? Tortillas? What, what do you think... What, do, what comes to your mind when you hear the word tortilla? Um, what we just ate this morning. We or ate a we, peanut butter eat, sandwich. What we eat like every day. <laughs> Every day, I wish. We eat tortillas wish. often. Yeah, well, but what is it? Describe a tortilla. The, the flat flour or corn, like bread, mm -hmm. dough. Do you think that in Spain tortilla is the same? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, tortillas in Spain are not that flat, delicious mm -hmm. tortilla. They have a different tortilla, and it's called tortilla española, and it refers to a very popular egg and potato dish. So it looks, I've seen it, they just put everything in a pan. Obviously, they have a, a way to prepare it, mm -hmm. but it looks like something like a thick omelet. Oh. Yeah, and uh, potato and eggs, so... Oh. That's how they make it, and they called, I mean, they call tortitas, tortillas, mm, like the regular like tortillas the regular, that we know. Yeah. Tortitas. Because they're small. I don't know, but they're I'm guessing is the other, big is tortillas the other one too. Huh? Is the other one bigger, but like your traditional tortilla. Maybe you, corn tortilla. Most likely uh -huh. to see is small, right? Yeah, corn tortilla usually is... That's a small. Mm. That's very small. Not very small, but like medium size. The flour tortillas, the ones for burritos. Yeah. Like those are gigantic. They're not tortitas. Yeah. They're tortotas. <laughs> 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 anyway, and lastly, I have one more fact that I think it's, I I think it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, the name Spain, because you know. Spain, mm -hmm. the Kingdom of yes. Spain, that's the the um, official name, right? Mm -hmm. But do you know what Spain means? No. Spain, Spain, or España. Well, Spain comes from the word Hispania, which means the land of rabbits. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. 
and there's a story behind that i'm not sure exactly who named or who used the word hispania hispania i'm gonna put it somewhere here <laughs> I'm just gonna Google it, and <laughs> I'm gonna put who, like, I from was, what what mm -hmm. language. I was gonna say any Spanish-speaking people who are listening to this. When mm -hmm. you're done from being Spain. angry at me, if you can please tell us yeah. some cool facts about your country. Or from any like Spanish-speaking country, like any Latin yeah, American why not? country. Why not? Yeah, facts about your country yeah, some, that would be great. Some, and even if, if even it's like not a any Latin country, any country, if you're any if country. you're watching this, if you're listening yeah. to this, and you got a cool fact, mm -hmm. drop it. Share it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And uh, yeah, which means Hispania means the land of rabbits. That's really I guess cool. they, I didn't they know saw that. a lot of rabbits. Yeah, I didn't know. That's, that's really cool. cool. Yeah, that's adorable. That is adorable. I have a fact okay. about Spain mm -hmm. that you probably, I don't know if you know about it. I don't know. That one of the most famous Roman legions is from Spain. One of the most famous Roman legions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the 10th legion, which was Caesar's legion was from Spain so it was consisted mostly really? of Spanish Roman citizens wow. or soldiers rather really yeah and they they were called uh, uh, Legio X 10 whatever Equestria wow. which oh. so it means the Mounted Legion mm -hmm. which was a joke yeah. and the joke was because when Caesar was invading Germany one of the German kings wanted to have a did like a meet, parley with him mm. but he wouldn't allow anybody other than mounted soldiers to accompany him so like bodyguards and because caesar didn't have any and he didn't trust the german auxiliaries he took his best legionaries mm. and just put them on horses hmm. so when the german king tried to ambush him and betray him the legionaries just got off the horses and kicked ass because wow. They oh, were, you know, elite soldiers. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, all of them were from Spain. Like the majority. Because Rome would, you know, because Caesar was the ruler of Spain, essentially. Mm -hmm. Part of Spain. So they mm -hmm. would establish legions from all different places. There's like a legion that was entirely Syrian, you know. Really? Like, so they were, yeah, all from Syria. And wow. from Spain and all, all over the, the empire, really. But yeah, that's, that's kind of a cool little fact. Oh, cool. That's yeah. very cool. Anyway, so out of all the facts, which one you do you like the most? Mm. Besides the, you know, I, Roman Empire I, one. I like the rabbit one just because rabbits are adorable. Yeah. That one, um, the artist one's really cool because it just shows like what a, especially even like Dolly isn't that old either, you know, mm -hmm. it's like not that far back, same with Picasso. Mm -hmm. And it just shows like the massive influence that just one country had on the art of the entire world like these guys will be talked about f forever mm -hmm. you know yeah. so that's really cool okay for sure so it's i honestly when i read about this i thought wow like i didn't know i didn't know that spain had so many languages yeah and dialects yeah that's really i was cool. like what I can't believe it. I thought it was only Castilian and probably Catalan and Basque. Mm -hmm. I've I've heard of those. But, yeah, the, but then like they they on they have official languages and unofficial yeah. reg, regional languages. That's crazy. And dialects. So I wonder if there's someone who speaks like five of them. Or you if know. there's somebody there who doesn't speak or all of Spanish them. and only just knows one of the random ones that yeah. like barely anybody speaks anymore. Yeah. You know, that's crazy. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. Yeah. 
And um, yeah, that, I think that's the one that I really like. The fact that uh, Spain, Spain has many different languages. Because yeah. I love languages. And, and uh, yeah, that, that, I like that fact the most. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so anything else you would like to add? No, no. Um, just like, what, a, what about you guys that are listening? Yeah. Yeah. Which which fact, or even if there's one that we didn't mention that you know about, yeah, just that let you us think know. Think would be really cool, yeah. For sure, yeah. Well, that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, please remember to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time we do this. And also, if you wanna read more about Spanish and other things, you can go to smlessons.com. And also you can download like free crosswords and mm -hmm. what else? Flashcards. You can donate yeah. directly to this, this channel through that uh, website as well. If you don't want to get a membership, if you're like, nah, memberships are not for me. You can go to smlenses.com and click on donate. You can also find the link, direct link to that in the video description down below and you can donate I mean, whatever you, you feel like donating, right? Yeah. And um, don't forget that I live stream and uh, you can participate. You can use the live chat and ask me questions. So please do that. That's great. I love interacting with you guys. Also, give this video a like. That helps me a lot. Helps us a lot. And uh, yeah, just uh, that's it. That's it. Have a good night or day or <laughs> and um thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time you didn't yawn i yawned four, Did you? four times i didn't see him nobody yawning. noticed <laughs> four times How did you do that? like i didn't hear you it was internal and I'm, like it was in I'm internally looking at you I internally yawned, like yeah you didn't see me but i'm like <laughs> like trying <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's late i'm tired okay have a good night or right. day bye <laughs>